this is Keith with Cause in the Country. Going to bring you another video, another product we got here from Yita Home. It is a heated uh, ultrasonic cleaner. Um, so this is going to come in really nice. Uh, you can use it for multiple things. You can clean your jewelry. You can um, clean gun parts. You can clean your glasses. You can clean uh, multiple things in it. Your dentures. You can put a, pretty much anything you want cleaned in this. You're going to be able to put it in here and clean it. And so we're just going to unbox it here and show you guys what it seems to be packaged really well. They've got um, they got the foam pads in here, so it really didn't didn't move any. I don't yeah uh, I don't expect anything to really be missed. So here's your lid um, and I'm just gonna set it to the side and then inside you're going to have your electrical plug. Um, and you're also going to have the tongs, which is really cool, so you can drop stuff down in it, take it out, whatever, without putting your hands in it. Um, and it looks like you have a basket that you can encase stuff in and drop the basket down in as well. So, uh, pretty cool. It's got a little clasp on it. Um, and make sure we do it right. There's a hole that matches up here. And then you can close it shut, and that's got the chain. You can drop whatever you need down in there to be ultrasonic cleaned. Um, and then you have your tube here. So we're going to place it to the side. Looks like you've got your Yita Home assembly instructions. So we will put this together, show you guys, you know. Um, all the parts and pieces and all that good stuff. There's not going to be a whole lot to it. Um, kind of with what parts we showed you. You've got, um, this is going to be the piece that screws into it and your hose will connect to it as well. Then inside you have your basket, which will be removable. So you've got your basket. And then... You're going to have the machine itself. It's pretty heavy. Um, it's definitely got some heft to it. A lot heavier than what I actually expected because it's it's pretty heavy, um, which is good. I mean, hey, at least. Um, so then on the front of it here, you're going to have your uh, Yita Home ultrasonic cleaner. Um, it's going to kind of give you the instructions. You've got your uh celsius here um i'm not sure i'll have to look at the instructions you may be able to do celsius and fahrenheit I'm not 100 percent sure on and off you can, here's your temperature where you can change it um and then here's your minutes and seconds and on and off here you get your time oh it's gonna see on this side you're gonna have your where you can drain it um obviously so once it's done you know you'll be able to basically take this you're probably going to want to use some pipe thread on this it is plastic uh you want to put it on every time or whatever but you'll be able to put that on there and then your hose will obviously just go on the end of this you're probably since you're mainly going to use it to drain you won't really need um a hose clamp or nothing I'm not going to put it all the way on just yet until we get ready to use it. Um, but this will basically be a way to drain it out. Um, and you may not need pipe thread if you're just going to use it to drain. You, if you depend on what you're draining it into. Um, this is it's a pretty hard plastic, but you want to be careful with it because you don't want to strip the threads out or anything like that. Once we get ready to use it, we'll show you. Uh, how well it works we will uh hook it up and show you the pour and afters and how to operate it with the switches and everything so again we just wanted to bring you this again this is the yita home a heated ultrasonic cleaner all right guys so i am keith with causey in the country and as promised we're going to bring you the uh heated ultrasonic cleaner um so we kind of have some stuff laid out here that we're just going to show you um I, I, this water's warm. I just I'm gonna use warm water, and I'm gonna use the on dish soap, um, which is usually really the best that you can get, in my opinion, as far as cleaning. So, 
Um, a lot of you are probably going to laugh. I've had this thing forever. Uh, I'm just doing this for my own benefit. I know it's not going to get rid of any of this pitting and this rust, but uh, this uh, should come out, but it's not. It's stuck in there, so I'm kind of curious if I stick it in this ultrasonic cleaner, if it will maybe clean some of the gunk off and allow me to be able to um, get this apart. And then we have you some jewelry here. This is some of my wife's jewelry. Nothing fancy. And these are uh, really not that bad. So we have a good comparison of some jewelry that's already really not too dirty uh, with some really dirty jewelry. Um, these earrings definitely could use some cleaning as well. This is going to be an ultimate test because I took my Springfield XD 9mm and I had ordered some parts because my gun was very gunked up okay this spring is actually really sticky um so uh i'm going to put a lot of the stuff in this little drop basket here so then i'm going to have the uh, firing pin retainer pin this thing is going to be really gunky too like i said i took and there's nothing wrong with these parts i just took them out of my sp i ordered new ones and um so this one's, this is just a pin, uh, but it's it's sticky to the touch. I don't know if I can get any goop to wipe off on my finger, um, but I want to, I'm gonna try to clean all this. So I'm gonna put these in the basket and then I have a few more pieces here. Uh, I said I took it apart, took all these pieces out and um some of these maybe i think a couple of these are new these are the ones i ordered extra so just for giggles i'm going to put them in there these were already brand new um i'm gonna drop them in there make sure that we don't get any kind of discoloration this one right here is really dirty um it's got gunk on it it's like just literally sticky i bet i can get it to stick to my finger yeah it's really gunky and sticky, so I'm gonna put it in there. Um, see if we can clean it off. And so <laughs> here's the big one too. And as you can tell, this package, it has dirt on it all right through here and grime. So this was part of the firing pin. And it, it I could probably stick it to my finger too. We're gonna take and fill this up probably three quarters of the way. So first thing you're gonna wanna do is make sure your nozzle is off over here okay so we have this if this is in line it's open so when you pour your water in it's just going to come out so we're going to close it it's closed now and then we're going to fill our water up um, so before we even plug it up or do anything like that we're going to fill it up and again we're going to go about three quarters i'm going to have to go get some more water add some dish soap so we're gonna do about that much. Now the water I'm adding is already kind of warm because I plan on using the warmer. I'm gonna get, uh, probably that's probably all I'll do. Should be enough. Uh, we're mainly gonna put most of her jewelry in the basket. These are pretty dirty too, but I think I'm gonna put them in the basket with my gun parts. So then I'm just going to drop this right in here on top. Well, we're going to stick the basket down in here. So we've got everything submerged. Then we're going to add this guy right here. And then what we're going to do is we're going to plug this thing up. So we've actually put this next to our wood stove. All right, so we've got the lights on here. So we're going to turn the temperature up room temperature we're gonna let's see how high it'll actually go I'm just curious okay so looks like 80 70 we'll do 70 and then it gives you your actual so it's 36 which I guess would be room temperature I'm not real familiar with Celsius so um, so then we can turn the heated part on so you can tell that it's on here on this it's on five minutes right now. So let's just put this on, let's do 15 minutes. Let's see what happens in 15 minutes. So we're gonna turn this on. And that thing 
is really weird sounding. So let's turn it off a minute because that just sounds really weird. But I guess it's fine. It's kind of loud, guys. So I'm, not, I'm just going to be honest here. It's so uh, I don't know if it's going to change. All right, guys. So we've got it going. Now they did say that this is going to make a little bit of noise. So kind of something to expect. If you place it, you know, in a different room where you're not going to be doing anything, it'll be just fine. You're probably going to hear it in the next room. Um, but it is kind of loud. Our timer run out where we just clicked over to 63 degrees Celsius. So I'm going to turn the heat off since the timer's done. So we're just going to go ahead and pop that guy off. Since I'm going to flip the switch on the back and turn it off, I'm also going to unplug it. And I'm going to pull the lid off. I have chose to use two forks. I'm going to just stick one on the handle here. And I don't know. It's pretty warm, <laughs> I will say. So this piece still seems to be stuck. I didn't expect a ton out of this. Um, it basically looks the same. Um, but again, none of this was ever going to go away. This is the nickel plating, where the nickel plating came off. There is a little bit of pitting on it. Um, I'd actually planned on re these, cleaning them up, and all that good stuff. So that was just kind of for fun. Um, now, however, this, in 15 minutes, seems to definitely be way shinier than what it was when it went in. Um, noticeably. Like, it was kind of dull looking. Um, and that was only after 15 minutes, so... Uh, I would imagine, and it wouldn't hurt, you know, for it to go some more. So we may put it back in, but it is a lot different looking. This one was pretty dirty, and it looks like it still kind of is. So um, the ring looks a little better. This guy, everything's cold now to the touch. Um, it seems to be, definitely seems to be shinier than when we first put it in. Um, these guys were already pretty pretty sparkling. The rings definitely have way more of a shine to them. And then let's see about the goop and grime on this. Oh, it's coming off. Because look, this is cool. So it's not, like I said, if we run it, look, I'm getting it on my finger all over. But it is definitely taking this stuff off. See, I just wipe here and there and it is i mean it's getting it all over my finger and this thing i'm telling you guys was really sticky and really gooky and this is it's taking it off there's no doubt it is definitely taking it off um these parts probably need run for two or three hours but it is definitely taking it off um very nicely um the spring definitely looks different than when i put it in and it's not sticky at all anymore but guys that's kind of it on the um the Yida Home uh, Heated Ultrasonic Cleaner. So, I, you know, I definitely have to say it works. I mean, you can, there's a huge difference. I mean, the water went in clear, and it has definitely taken some of the stuff off of that jewelry and off of those gun parts, and I have no doubt. And as you can see, the steam's kind of rising off of it. I don't know if you can see it in the video. Um, but it's definitely cleaning them. Just draining this out into the sink here. And... This is all the stuff floating around in the bottom that it was taking off of, you know, the jewelry, the gun parts, and everything that we had in there. Um, so, yeah, I just kind of wanted to show you guys what was in the bottom of the tank. Of course, I'm going to rinse it out and clean it out, but uh, you can see where the line is on the side so definitely does uh it will definitely clean um like i said this is all the gunk that was kind of <laughs> left in the bottom all this little sediment stuff here so it's just yeah it's uh as you can see you know when you rub it it turns into all that little stuff but uh it took off quite a bit so that is 
uh, kind of what the tank looks like when you're done. We're going to rinse it out, clean it out, and we'll end up doing it again and using it again. So I uh, just wanted to bring you kind of an update on what the tank looked like after all the cleaning.